Okay, you guys, we're taking a look at a 100,000 BT furnace. Um, looking at replacing all of this. So you see through here, and then here's the back side. So I'll kind of start with this. So we're going to replace the line set. It actually goes through like an old window. There's a little bit of insulation there, but so run line set back come into uh, a coil and then because this is 22 inches and our new one will be 21 we may want to look at going you know right through here that'll give us a little bit of space to run our drain you catch the floor drain over here just because this is kind of a major walkway for the laundry and then on the uh, from the ground to about this slip and drive is like 77 inches uh, so should be able to reattach right in there with everything and still have a base uh, filter and then kind of mimic what we got here except making it bigger so you know if we go I'm gonna put a patch basically from here to there is 15 and then 32 and a half I think is what I wrote down from joist to joist and then recut this in that'll be 26 inches wide or excuse me 26 is deep uh, 10 wide and then come down and then offset over seven inches uh, on our canvas connector we'd like to make a you know either a one inch up to uh, yeah, probably like a one inch or three quarter or even half inch uh, furnace flange just so we can screw into that um, and then make any adjustments that's needed. Obviously a new switch, modify electric, modify gas, uh, flue piping, we want to get rid of this. And then we have uh, a six inch T. So this will become, um, you know, just a single T and then probably four inch coming over and catching a new water heater and expansion tank. I would say our new valve down here. So we'll get quotes for 40 and 50 gallon water heaters. And so with that being gone, that means PVC obviously running out uh, through the side of the home. So one real important thing is keeping it tight to the joist uh, as best we can. So we want to get with the homeowner, make sure that where we go out is okay. Uh, we got options quite a bit throughout this whole wall, but we have a dryer vent here. so. I feel like perfect scenario would be right in this area, although it puts you a little close to the dryer vent. So just keep that in mind. We've got this next one, it's got a little bit of piping. So maybe here and then come back and then where this plumbing is, might drop this down and in, but let's just talk with him and see where our height is on that. And then breaker panel, um, it's right over here. This is a color hammer and we are on a 30 amp for the AC. That's it.